All right, so hey, Mike here. Um, let's open up a new chat. This um, quick video is just showing off the web enabled features uh, that I fixed up. Um, there was a request, like a feature request, saying that, hey, could you, you know, not only make it work better, but be more informative in terms of, you know, the web results so I can actually see what it's referring to when it's giving me the answer. So now um, when you hover over it, it'll tell you that it only works on system scope models, which of course you get if you have a Patreon license key. Um, or now, more importantly, I'm switching over to the website version of things. So if you head on over to the website, systemsculpt.com, you can see that you can get either a lifetime or a monthly uh, Obsidian AI license. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. And yeah, let's just show this off right off the bat. So I'll turn it on and I'll say, tell me about the latest neuroscience uh, related ArcSiv papers. All right, let's do a little flow here. So, you know, instead of me going to Google or uh, Google Scholar and filtering and doing all that, right, um, I can just type in to here just directly something that I want to research and it'll give me the latest stuff. You can see right off the bat, it tells me that it's from April 2025. It's giving me the links, the sources, and I don't even have to traverse these PDFs. I can just right off the bat just kind of read, okay, cortical circuits, brain machine interfaces. That's really interesting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it. It's going to take me there. As you can see here, boom, I'm in here. Now what I'm going to do is uh, view the PDF, okay? And cool, very cool PDF. Now what I'm going to do, okay, watch this flow. It's a really nice flow. I'm going to download it. I'm going to put it in my vault, okay, and I'm going to name it Brain Machine Interfaces and Information Retrieval Challenges and Opportunities. Hopefully I didn't misspell anything there. But anyway, now it's in my vault, right? I just saved it there. So I'm going to head back into my vault. Where is it? There it is. Boom. Brain Machine Interfaces and Information Retrieval, challenges, and opportunities. Perfect. I spelled it perfectly. Now what I can do, watch this. Now I can just drag it in. Let me drag it in here. Boom. And what happens now, you can see here, it's uploading the document. Again, this is a system scope feature. Um, it processes it. And watch what happens now. Um, you get not only the markdown extraction. Now, of course, I can't preview it here, but I can click into it. Boom. There it is. There is the entire PDF right there. And it's beautiful, right? <laughs> um, it's extremely well extracted. It allows you to have all of the links and references and as close to as possible, uh, the almost one for one kind of uh, way of reading through it, right? That's that's what's most, most important here. Um, there's only one image in this PDF, this one. So... That's why it's only one. But if there were multiple, then it would show and also um, add into the context here multiple. And so now what we can do, we're going to have to switch to a model that allows images. So let's do, for example, um, let's do 4.1. And now with 4.1, you can't use, because it's through OpenAI, you can't use web search. I'm going to incorporate that later on because they just, I believe they just released web search capabilities via the OpenAI API. But anyway, that's like developer stuff, right? Um, now what I can do is, okay, with the added um, paper, uh, give me the TLDR, right? And so now what it's doing, it's not only traversing our messages thus far, but also, of course, the context that we've added in. And now it's doing a too long didn't read summary of the paper, of the neuroscience paper, um, specifically including the BMI and IR paper. Um, now it's trying to incorporate also these, um, but I can be more specific and I can say, talk specifically, spe oh geez, specifically about the paper I attached to the context, right? And so again, I mean, it's going to, go into detail, it's going to talk about it, the key vertices, um, 
and everything in between. And you can just chat with this document, see if it's useful for you. Maybe you're doing research on something. Maybe you're trying to figure something out. I mean, this is amazing for academic papers, for um, dissertations. I mean, absolutely anything in, in, in the research field and in, in the academic field. It's a beautiful, beautiful tool. And not only that, but you also see, I'm sure you've been watching um, this on the sidebar, updating consistently with each message that you have. You're able to see, oh, you know, I remember writing this back in 2024, um, man, over a year ago. Now what I can do is I can either drag this in, right? Here's another example. I can take this, I can drag it in here, and boom, that's another file added to my context thus far. And I can chat with it and maybe, you know, say like, what are similarities between these documents? What's new? What what were previous misconceptions, right? You can see kind of the the doors um, opening up, so to say, um, regarding possibilities here. So I'm, I'm really excited how this is all kind of, you know, linking together. Um, and then, yeah, you can also, for now, it's kind of like a text chat, but watch this, I can say, Tell me more about uh, like the really wow factor pieces of this paper. Put it in bullet points. And you can see, um, boom, there it is. I just spoke to my chat, really. I have it hotkeyed uh, to Command R, and it records my uh, voice, automatically transcribes it, and I can just really just chat back and forth, like I just said, um, with the document. And soon I'm going to in also incorporate... Um, like a back and forth voice assistant as well, but you know, that that's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. So yeah, I mean, absolutely amazing. I love this flow and yeah, I hope you like it too. Let me know any ideas, anything I can do or make better and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.